Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching the church video on my channel and help support the Awesome Bands Ad feature. And today I'm here with Raymond Watts from Pig. It's great to have you again. Now you want to start off and tell us about your new album, Pain is God? Um, got cracking on the album with a plan to get it finished about June for a September release. Maybe we were going to go on tour together out in the States, maybe November. Obviously everything's been blown out the fucking water with the pandemic. Um, so I plowed on with the album, gave it a little bit more time, spent another couple of months on it, delayed the release date because of everything. And that gave me a little bit more time just to not overwork it, not take the rough edges off, but just to put things into a bit of focus, go back and rework a few little bits, work on the words a little bit more. So that was the general, some of, most of the tracks I wrote recently, one of them was on the shelf since about 2004 from the last Pink Martyr sessions. But yeah, so it was a sort of main new and some old bits. And what uh, made you uh, release a Rock and Roll Refugee, Refugee as a single? Um, I mean, I was going to release, I was going to do another, I was going to do that track Cursed, actually, which is the one that immediately follows it, I think, or precedes it on the record, precedes it. Um, and I just... My girlfriend Susie, quite likely, she thought it was quite bouncy and just seemed like it would be might maybe fun to do a video for. So we fucked around, made a little video with the fabulous Gabrielle Edby editing and directing, who has done lots of videos for me before. And it just seemed to kind of coalesce into quite, and she's done a fantastic job with the visuals on the video and it kind of bounces along the track. It's piggy, but it's a bit different. It's a little bit old school, kind of glam, which is kind of music I grew up with when I was very, very young, you know, early 70s. But it's also got that kind of electro thing that's a bit more, a bit more fits in with my KMFDM pig, more experimental era. I've never felt particularly allied with rock and roll, but so hence the rock and roll refugee element, you know. So, and that's, that's I just felt like it was a nice track to do. Cool. And uh, do you have, uh, what's your next uh, single going to be, you think? Well, I don't know, actually. I don't know if we really need another one. Um, Sex and Death, the track down at the other end of the album, um, was, I think it's the penultimate track, the 13th track before Suffer No More. I did release a couple of, I did release a version of that a couple of months ago, slightly different one. Again, with a long, long epic video. It's not really a single uh, with a frontline assembly and a KMFDM remix as a 12 inch vinyl and download. So that kind of was a sort of taster of what was going to come with the album. We might do another one. I don't know. Cool. Now, uh, your vinyl, you have some extra bonus tracks and material on that? Yeah, a couple of extra tracks on the vinyl. I like the vinyl to be a bit different. Um, we've had some really trying problems with production on this vinyl because there have been some really bad holdups due to COVID at the factories and isolations and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the the vinyl is is, is basically, it's, it's I've been, had this idea to do it like a pop-up, like a kid's pop-up, but you open it and shit happens, um, which is obviously a bit of a production, um, quite challenging to make. And I like to make it, instead of just having different artwork, have a couple of extra tracks on. So you get a bit more bang for your buck. And now that the album just came out, what are your uh, future plans? Um, a couple of collaborations, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and I've got some ideas for the next kind of pig thing. Normally, you see, since I sort of reanimated Pig in 2016, I've been on tour 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 in the States, a couple of little UK, European jaunts as well. So normally I would be touring to promote the record. Now that's obviously not happened, so I've done other things like my friend Mark's been making little snippet videos for Mark Griffiths, made some lovely little, they're like ads really, little snippets of each track, 14, 16 videos as a sort of another way of getting the record out there. Um, so I'm a little bit kind of like, oh, it's quite weird to have made a record and not be out touring it. It's a little bit weird. So I'm kind of thinking, where am I going next? I know there's another thing in here I'm working on. 
um, maybe re-release some old stuff. Okay, so how have you handled the whole lockdown and quarantine time? Well, uh, I was like basically recording in the studio when this when this thing hit, which is basically me on my own in a little room. So outwardly, my life didn't change that much. Um, I mean, obviously, I wasn't, you know, able to go and see people and shit. But so I just carried on plowing away at the cold face in my little studio, making a filthy fucking noise. And yeah, um, it's uh, it's it's a drag. This isn't it? It's fucking something like. Whew. So it's 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 it's. it's it's funny, so personally, it hasn't really affected me massively in terms of my work, but socially, I think feeling feeling the, the loss of the things that we've got so used to has brought it into sharp focus how important those things are, just like, you know, normal shit, like going for a coffee with people or going for a drink or going to the fucking cinema. Yeah, it's uh, missing touring, gigs and all that shit. Yeah, not having live music is really hard. You know, I never knew I even liked it that much, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you're probably touring constantly so much. Now you're getting a little break. No, to be perfectly honest, it's not. Since I, since 2016, after when I started doing Pig again, I don't tour anything like I used to in the 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s, I toured all the fucking time because I was working with other bands as well. You know, and in the 90s, I was doing KMFDM and Pig in Japan a lot, and then a couple of other bands I had in Japan, so it was quite... Now, it's, it's a, it has calmed down a lot more. So now, if people want to look you up online, find your music, get the new album, how do they do that? Well, I don't know. I suppose you just Google Raymond Watts Pig. Um, I suppose I should know my... I know there's a pig Facebook page and a Raymond Watts one and Raymond Watts Instagram and shit. I don't know. Just best way is just go and listen to the music at pigindustries.bandcamp.com. Awesome. And uh, would you uh, consider doing any of the uh, virtual streams that some artists do? Nah, I'm not going to play for my fucking living room, man. No, that's not me. I need a bitching live band with a fuck off light show and a massive PA or, you know, I think that's what I kind of need. Um, yeah, it's not me to set up and prance around in my living room. I mean, I did that when I was about eight with a tennis racket, pretending I was in a band. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the same at all. No, no. I mean, I prefer the idea of maybe exploring some other avenues. Like, like I said, um, because we weren't touring this year, I spoke to my mate Mark, who's a video guy, and we just decided to do a little video for each track to take you on a little tour of sort of audio visual tour through the album instead of going on to That's just another way of presenting the thing, you know? Yeah. And do you have some artists that when touring is uh, able again, you'd like to tour with? Like I said, I was talking to Lex when we were out um, earlier this year in February. Um, we were talking about maybe going doing the states. I don't know if that might happen. I mean, they're busy. I'm kind of doing other things as well. But if they did intersect, it would be nice to see if there was the possibility of doing that in the states. Um, when I, the tour I met you on, when we were with Killing Joke, I really liked that tour. Yes, that was an amazing tour. That was a great one. Um, I mean, I was talking to, to Sasha Kanyesko, my old. Uh, colleague from KMFDM and I know he was supposed to be going out with ministry and I'm just saying you know maybe we should one day hook up and do one maybe it'd be good to go out and do a big in KMFDM and then we could all play some of the old bangers you know from back in the day but I don't know if that's gonna happen it was just a thought it was being kicked around <laughs> yeah but definitely a good time for artists like yourself to just keep staying focused making music uh... oh I've been so I mean, I'm so fucking lucky to be able to just be, you know, have people around who support and contribute and have the technology. And, you know, it's quite a lot of people in the pig camp in the, on the visual side, they create that side of things, but also, you know, NS who's in Berlin. It's been great to hook up with Steve White, who's my 
you know, worked a lot with me in the 90s on some of those, those pig albums like Wreck, Sensation, No One Gets Out of Her Alive, all that shit. Um, and of course, later with KMFDM, uh, Michelle, who does vocals for me in, in Australia, there's quite a lot of people who contribute and do things. And it's great to be able to send the files. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love the new album. I'm so glad to hear that, man. I'm really glad you enjoy it. Really glad you do. Yeah, like I was saying before uh, the interview, I like that the album is uh, solid. There's no filler tracks on it. You can listen to the entire thing. So that's awesome. Great. I mean, it's quite a lot of it to get through as well. I realized it was an hour and 11 minutes, and that's the CD. The vinyl's got an extra two on top of it. So it's like, it's like bloody, that bloody Ben Hur. It's that long, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's well worth it, though. Oh, uh, good. I'm really glad you like it. Yeah, I mean, I think you. It takes you on a bit of a journey if you can listen to it like an album, old style, you know, from beginning to an end. But if not, you, if beginning to end, you can just take out the tracks and spin spin your faves and jump the ones that you you don't like. Yeah. Well, it was good having you and talk with you and everyone look him up. Hey, man, really good to see you again and talk to you, Michael. And yeah. thanks so much for taking the time to check in and. Um, and uh, put this little interview together. I really appreciate it, man. Yes, it was great to talk to you and have you again. Hey, listen, take care, man. And um, hopefully next time we come through New York, we can say hi. <laughs>